Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard. And I'm Jennifer. And this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. Today we're going to show you how we use this. And built this to improve on our X-Tools M1 exhaust. So this is an inline fan which enhances the exhaust. The reason that we actually utilize this one here is the M1 comes with an exhaust system and a hose to blow air out from the from the machine as it's cutting and you can uh, put the hose out a window, out a door and so forth. However, um, although it works really well, we still found that uh, our garage, when we use it in the garage, it still gets a lot of smell, a little bit of smoke and so we wanted to see if there was a way that we could improve it and push that air out of the M1 even quicker and get it outside and make sure it doesn't come back in. In addition to the fan, we built this and we're going to give you more information on this. Uh, we're going to be using this to the bottom of our garage door to uh, seal it out uh, so that the smoke and uh, smells don't come back into the garage. But uh, you can easily replicate this and put it in a window, a sliding window, and pin it up against here so that the air blows out and doesn't come back into the house uh, if it's a different type of window that just closes down on it. So this is just a concept even though we're using it for the garage door that you can use in your house in the red room that you use your M1. Now let's get on to how we did this. We originally used some half inch scrap plywood, but it turned out to be bowed too much, so we ended up going with a one quarter inch. For the frame, we used three quarter inch plywood. After cutting the frame pieces to size, we cut out some grooves. We then assembled everything with glue and our nail gun. For the last portion, I cut out a hole for the exhaust hose. I couldn't find the proper size duct connector, so I had to cut it down to make it fit. Come on. 
Well, that doesn't go in there. Okay. You wanna try this again with me? We gotta put this back on again. Okay. We'll do it again. Okay, ready? Well, oh, don't poke that. Here, help me put that on here. Push it on. Push it on. Okay. There you go. Is that it? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, ready? If you're interested in replicating this project, we'll leave links to the fan and parts we used in the description below. Hey, good job. High five. Okay. All right, I had a lot of help this time. Uh, thanks to Mrs. Poor Man who bought this, was able to cut it down and fit it into this hole um, so that we can connect the hose, uh, the exhaust hose that's gonna take this outside. Uh, unfortunately, I provided some incorrect measurements and we had a little bit of a, an issue getting this set up. So one of the things is, I didn't want this hose to be connected with the clamp that you had to tighten all the time and I didn't have any additional quick uh, release clamps. So what I did was something a little bit different in that um, I made this to fit on the outside of the exhaust, exhaust hose so I can push it through. Now, it doesn't have to be clamped on here tight. Everything else is, is pretty airtight and I could put silicone around here to really uh, seal it up, but I don't think it's needed. Um, the hose itself is going to be blowing out, out outside, so it's not a problem. So all I'm gonna be doing is pushing the hose through here and then allowing it to go outside. Now, how we're gonna set this up is very simple. All right, first, we've got the, uh, the inline fan that we um, had uh, the help of our uh, genius DIY granddaughter who connected this all up for us and made it ready to go. Um, unfortunately, the only problem with this particular fan is there is no on and off switch. So the only way to turn it on is by plugging it in. Uh, might not be a bad idea to connect this to a surge protector with a switch so you can turn it on and off that way. Now, all we're gonna do here is press the hose through here. Like such. And that in itself is more than enough to hold it so that it actually blows on the outside. Now we're going to set it up on in the in the garage to show you how we're going to to try and vent out the smells and smoke and and everything else that comes from the M1. For the uh, critical test, let's go ahead and cut some wood. Safety. I tend to stare in this a lot for fun. Okay, so it is cutting right now, and uh, there is a very there's still a very faint smell, but uh, I believe this is actually working quite well. Before it was uh, as if you could smell the wood burning, and now it's just a hint of it. So I'd imagine if I put something around the lip of this lid here, that might help it a little bit more. Uh, but for the time being, I think this is a big success, and uh, I think it'll prevent the, the garage from uh, smelling up real bad, and I could uh, cut multiple things, or do one uh, really long, big project, and, and it won't uh, have a bad effect, uh, the smell in the garage. Overall, we'll call this one a success. We hope this video shows you how we got rid of the smoke and the smell and inspires you to do the same. We have some additional M1 videos that we have planned. Uh, we're not sure which ones we're going to get to first, but until then, 